back at it. Welcome to the channel, the Midnight Decipher channel, the NASCAR Number Zone channel. I'm going to try to make this video available for both channels for the uh, viewing audience to be able to see. Uh, we have something very uh, exciting that we want to uh, announce and introduce that is finally complete, which is the uh, NASCAR Numbers Database. And we're gonna put it to use right away. The upcoming event for NASCAR Cup Series on Sunday, May the 2nd is the Bushy McBush Race 400. Um, keep in mind, Kevin Harvick is sponsored by Bush. Uh, what I've seen so far this year is that the uh, sponsored race, the uh, driver who is sponsored by that company doesn't win the race. So I wouldn't look for Kevin Harvick to win, but it's possible for him to win. Uh, but Bushy McBush Race 400, it's like, okay, why are they calling it the Bushy McBush Race? We uh, know that there are two uh, brothers, the Bush brothers, Cal and Kurt. And it just so happened to be Cal's birthday and Kurt has a great alignment to win this race. And I wanted to show you, uh, I took screenshots of the uh, database and this is what we have. We, we have compiled all the information that I used from 2020 to call nine first place winners, 20 top 10 and maybe 15 top five winners last year. Uh, all the information I use to be able to predict the outcome of the uh, race uh, is all stored in the database and it's going to be updated after every race each week. You see we have every driver, we have their birth uh, location, their birthday, their races, their wins, their top fives, top tens, the type of automobile that they drive, a Ford, Toyota or Chevy. We have their race car numbers, we have their sponsors, we have their owner, the team. We have the four base ciphers visible for each driver. Uh, we have a link to the Gamachinator for you to copy to put more information to get the full scope of the uh, numerology involving each driver. But all this information is uh, scattered and it takes a lot of time to gather all this information and it has to be gathered uh, every week and it's time consuming and uh, it does uh, take away from you being able to um, decipher the information to be able to study and see the alignments and you know to keep looking at it until you can see more and we have it all available in the uh, NASCAR Numbers on database. We have within the database, we have the day numerology for each race already uh, listed for the entire year. We have the schedule um, already uploaded into the database. Uh, we have the alignment on every driver, their uh, time span from their birthday to the race, from the race to their birthday. And I went ahead and isolated the day numerology so we can take a look at it and we see May 2nd, the primary day numerology is 48. And it's the 122nd day of the year, leaving 243 days left in the year. As I indicated, um, with this database, it has allowed me to be able to see the alignment of every driver. And as I looked at all the alignments, uh, I noticed Matt Dinabento is going to be his 227 race, which is a 48 prime number. But I also notice Kurt Busch. Looking at Kurt Busch, uh, the 48 day numerology, his birthday is August the 4th, so that's a mirror. And looking at his race record, this would be his 731st race. He has 32 victories, so I see a. Uh, a synchronicity that can happen with the mirror effect of his birthday and the alignment from the race to his birthday is roughly three months and three days and 33 and then when we take the mirror of his uh, race record 731 is 137 and that is the 33rd prime number and i also pulled up the uh numerology for the event itself the bushy mcbush race 400 
and in English Ordinal it's 178 and we see the uh, 178 is the year that uh, Kurt Busch was born in 1978 so when I saw that it stood out to me that this event is synced up and scripted for Kurt Busch to win. So we went ahead and put in the sponsor uh, into the uh, calculator and it equals 178 in the same exact cipher. <clears throat> and I believe it was 79 in the uh, in another cipher as well. And then we see in septentrionary it's 52, just like May the 2nd. So there's some synchronicity with uh, Kurt Busch and his sponsor and this date and this race and his racing record and Monster Energy also equals 173 in reverse ordinal and those are the same codes involved in the 731 and his racing record and then when we look at his name Kurt Busch we see 123 if he wins then his record of 2021 will be one win two top fives and three top tens we see the 33 and 4 reduction. We see the 33 in Chaldean. He's going for his 33rd victory. No, we know that he's going to get that 33rd victory. Uh, and the way that I can see that it's possibly scripted is for him to get that 33rd victory in his 731st race. That It just so happened to be a strong mirror of synchronicity with the race date and his birthday and the name of the event as well uh, as a tribute to uh, the last name Bush, the Bush clan. And when we look at Kirk Thomas Bush, we see 731 in reverse satanic cipher. So that is very, very strong to see that his full name actually equals what his racing record will be on that day so we could see that it was probably most likely possibly scripted for him to get that 33rd win in his 731st race and this goes back to when he first started with nascar okay and i just, that was a chart that uh, we have a, a dynamic chart that uh, can only be seen on the database and it's a way for us to see the back end of the scripting. But looking at his birthday alignment, you see the three months and three days. So that's a 33 code. We see his 95 days and his uh, name also equal 277, which is the 59 prime number. So that's another mirror. And um, in the database, we can isolate the very top any driver and look at their, their record next to the day numerology and I went ahead and pulled up Kurt Busch and we can see the alignment there is very strong as I indicated his birthday three months and three days this is a stronger alignment than his brother Cal having a birthday most of the time they don't win on their birthday it has to be a time span to or from their birthday and then we see that Kurt Busch tweeted this is a race we all been waiting for don't miss it and he looks like he's ready to win and we see his recent and we see the uh, the race itself uh, image within the tweet. So I see a very, 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 very strong indication that the one car is going to get his first win. It'll be his 33rd all-time win. It'll be his first win of 2021, Kurt Busch. He has the most uh, races. He has more races than Kevin Harvick. Though Kevin Harvick has 58 um, all-time wins, Kurt Busch can get his 33rd on May the 2nd. And the jackpot races, don't forget to download that app. It's a free app where you could win up to $25,000 answering questions about which driver can win. And with this database, you're going to be able to see the questions and isolate these drivers and see who have the best synchronicity and win hundreds thousands tens of thousands of dollars if you're the only one to get it then i think that's when you get the jackpot prize so that's something that could happen every race uh, for anyone who uh signs up for the database to 
to use uh, that to be able to see. And we have two tiers on the uh, the NASCAR numbers database. Uh, go ahead and, and sign up. The link is going to be in the description. If you have any uh, questions or comments about the race, you know, who do you think is going to win the race? You know, let us know. Look forward to interacting with you. Uh, look forward to winning. Let's get this win. It's a very big line on Kurt Busch. It's the kind of lines we look for. It's big fish to catch on Sunday, and I look forward to uh, to catching this big fish on, on, on Sunday. And uh, we'll be in touch. The NASCAR uh, Number Zone database, uh, the NASCAR Number Zone channel is, is up. Um, so go ahead and come over and subscribe to there and support the channel. If you, if you watch this video, go ahead and, and sign up and like the video and look forward to uh, having a lot of wins this year in NASCAR. So I appreciate all the support. Special thanks to the young lady that put together the uh, database for us. She did a very good job. We're very pleased. And uh, it's going to be a great year for us. And we will be in touch. Take care.